everything done. Okay, so today we're going to pick up with the endocrine system. If you haven't watched the endocrine system stuff before, you should probably start. It'd be great. Okay, um, so right here, remember, we're going to talk about relationships and processes as we study systems in this COVID type uh, quarantine, but that's all right. It'll become part of your Quora routine. There you go. All right. You should also take notes on this because if you take a picture of it and show it to me, it's worth 10 points. All right. So here's the deal. The hypothalamus is in control of a lot of different things, and it'll be in control of these things called cascades. And the hypothalamus is in your brain. It's part brain. It's part endocrine system. Okay. It will basically send releasing hormones during certain times to tell the pituitary gland, which is just inferior to it, so it doesn't have to go very far in the bloodstream, okay, to tell the pituitary gland to stimulate other glands, okay, including like the thyroid, the adrenal gland, and the testes or ovaries. So when I post the videos that I want you to watch, um, the crash course videos are going to talk about these cascades, and these are the cascades that we're talking about. And it has other cascades as well, okay, so, but these are just three that we're going to go over kind of big time because they really do affect your life. All right, so cascade number one involves the thyroid hormone, and the hypothalamus will release a hormone called thyroid releasing hormone, otherwise known as TRH. And that will flow into the bloodstream to the thyroid gland, or to the pituitary gland, and it'll tell the pituitary gland to release a hormone called TSH, otherwise known as thyroid stimulating hormone. And that will tell the thyroid gland to release a really important hormone related to your metabolism which I'm going to have you look up. And if you show me this answered on your notes, again, that's worth extra points. Next, okay, um, by the way, this regulates your metabolism, speeds it up, slows it down, that sort of thing. Okay, actually, it would just speed it up. <laughs> this is just a way to get you warm in, when in the winter, okay? When you're exercising, speeds up your metabolism. It's a really handy thing, and I bet you know someone with a thyroid disorder because it's a really common thing and a really easily fixable thing. As far as the adrenal gland go goes, the hypothalamus will release a hormone called CRH, otherwise known as cortisol releasing hormone. Okay, and the good part about YouTube is that if you don't hear what CRH stands for, you can actually go back and write it down. So TRH is thyroid releasing hormone, CRH is cortisol releasing hormone, and that's going to go to the pituitary, and it's going to tell the pituitary to release a really long hormone called ACT. H, otherwise known as adrenocorticotropic hormone. And while the adrenal gland releases things like epinephrine and aldosterone, it's going to tell the adrenal gland to release a hormone that you're going to see as mineral corticoids or glucocorticoids. Well, basically, we just call that cortisol. And that kind of takes control of your stress response, which I know has probably been active during these times. Next. Um, another pathway that it has, the hypothalamus is involved with basically turning your testes and ovaries on to release sex hormones, okay? Um, and so what it will do is it will tell the pituitary gland to release um, what we call gonadotropins, okay? And these gonadotropins then go to your gonads, your testes or your ovaries, and they will release their respective hormones, which I also want you to look up. Now, the releasing hormone from the hypothalamus to um, the pituitary gland was basically just what we call GnRH, gonadotropin releasing hormone. So you can go ahead and fill that in in your notes, take notes on that. You're going to be, have some quizzes here in the next couple of days that will involve these notes. Again, I thank you guys for your patience. I miss you all so much. Take care and be well.